So I have access to uh, Runway's new Gen 3 text to video platform. Um, we're going to mess around with this a little bit and see what, what we can create and see how the video is doing. So this is an AI that you just put in a text to prompt um, a video. And um, I have ChatGPT opened as well. We're going to go ahead and uh, just create a couple videos and see what it looks like. So. I'm going to use ChatGPT just to come up with with a couple ideas, um, just to see what it comes up with, because um, we can probably get some more detailed prompts with ChatGPT. I like to do that, so we'll just get started here. So I will uh, throw in a prompt here, and we'll uh, see what we get. So we'll just uh, give it, you know, some, just a random prompt here. I'm using a new text to video uh, AI platform and need ideas for prompts that are unique and interesting. So we'll see what we got here. It looks like we, we got a list going on. So again, another reason I love AI just keeps your mind going. If you can um, prompt things, you can get a lot of cool ideas. So let's just try one of these. So we'll just start with number one. We'll copy that over and paste it in here and see what, it's, what it does. So it looks like we can decide if we want five or 10 seconds. So we're in the queue now. And uh, 10% now we got 675 credits left um, I can't remember what it was at the beginning of the video but it should have been on screen here but we used up some credits there um, building this video so keep that in mind uh, but I'm excited to use this it's you know this is this will be interesting there's a lot of different b-roll and, and things like that that will allow us to uh, use our creative minds and get information out quickly. You know, a lot of people have a creative mind, but they don't know how to edit and what and, and do things like this. So AI is really nice because it gives you ideas. If you have a creative mind, you can use AI to kind of build things now. And uh, I'm excited about that. I think it'll give a lot of creative people uh, a lot of outlets to to get their expressions out, things like that. So I'm excited about that moving forward. So it looks like we're at 82% here. Rewrite a classic fairy tale set in a bustling urban city. Think Cinderella in New York City or Snow White in Tokyo. So we will see what happens here. This is a competitor with Sora. Sora is a text-to-video platform that's coming out. And, um, you know, we'll see. So let's take a look at it. So that's pretty good for AI. There's a lot going on in the background. Looks like, uh, well, I like to look at hands. A lot of hands sometimes morph, but everything seems to be pretty good. There's not a ton of, trying to just find anything that's morphing or, you know, her forehead looks like she's concerned or something. We got these wrinkles in the forehead when she looks concerned here. So, so it looks like she's concerned and turns to look for something, which is cool. You know, this is original, coming straight from uh, AI in real time. So let's take another one of these, and we'll go ahead and do another one. So we're in the queue. 
I'll give that one a, that one's actually pretty good, actually. This is why I've noticed uh, when I use ChatGPT, honestly, like, let me know down in the comments if you've seen this, but when I prompt, if I tell uh, AI to help me prompt AI, I get better results for some reason. I don't know why, but I don't really see any, a lot of morphing or anything like that. Like even these photos up here look good. It's amazing. There's something there that flashed on this person's shoe, but nothing anybody would notice. I mean, this would take a long time to do uh, before we had these types of tools. So it's really cool, you know, uh, just having this ability to grab something like this just to expand your story. Um, I'll give that one a five, actually. That was that one did good. We'll see. We're at sixty six percent on on the next one. A time traveler from the future explains how to survive in the twenty first century, highlighting differences in culture, technology, and daily life. So we're throwing some curveballs at this thing. We'll see what uh, what pops up. Let's see what else we got over here. So what's fun, you can sit here all day, like coming up with ideas. There's just so many different things that AI can give you that you just wouldn't think of, even just going off your own interests, you know, so it's fun. Micros, that would be fun. Animated journey through a microscopic world. We'll have to try these. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. Uh, it was at 90%, I think, before. I don't know if it's just uh, thinking and then rendering or what, but looks like we're moving along. So we'll just wait for it here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried any uh, AI tools to help you with video. That's a big part of everything I do with uh, marketing. So it's been nice to be able to do things. You know, you, you could just throw stuff like this in really easily just to, in, you know, just to insert something cool looking into a lot of different types of videos. So it's exciting to be able to have stuff this quick. I mean, I used to pay uh, a lot of money just for for editing and stuff like that. So, so we got our time traveler here. Let's see what we got. Let's watch his hands. That's the biggest issue. That's pretty cool. I didn't notice, I mean, there's some goofy stuff going on with the hands, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. So now we're down to 575. So it looks like we use 100 credits every time we do one of these. We'll do one more in this video and then uh, see what we come up with. Let's go right down the line, number three. And again, we can change this to five seconds or 10 seconds. I'm just leaving it on 10, just to get a good test. So now we're in the queue for the next video. trying to find anything wrong I mean there I think something you know these uh the vehicles if you notice in the background they kind of morph like one collide there's some morphing back here but you're focused more on the on the person in the front so it's hard to notice 
Also, there's something going on with this car here. I don't think there's a tire or something on there. Tires on the front or back, or it almost looks like the back bumper is missing as well. I don't know. But, you know, just goofy things like that that you would be able to tell if you really looked close. But, you know, you're focusing on the subject here. And the subject looks so good that, you know, a lot of your focus would be drawn away from a lot of this stuff. If we notice this car right here, you know, that car right there, this car right there, there's another car that comes out of nowhere this way. And uh, this car is actually kind of parked in the middle of the road as well, so, which is weird, you know, now looking at that. So a couple of these little things that, um, that will only get better with time. But I mean, you know, I just, it took me a while to just kind of look around and notice that stuff. Like, I don't know what this car was doing over here. It almost looked like there was another ghost car. And that one appears out of nowhere. So this one kind of morphed. And then this, these cars here are, yeah. So there's a lot of weird, there's a lot of weird stuff in the background. Again, it just seems like a busy street, right? Like, I mean, you wouldn't really notice unless you were paying attention. Um, something like this could also be cropped as well if you were doing a vertical video and avoid a lot of that stuff too. But just taking a look at Gen 3, um, yeah, it looks like we're at 5% here. So looks like this, I guess it's done. I guess it's rendering now. So I think this one's about done as well. This is a day in the life of someone living with an AI companion that assists them in every aspect of their life from making breakfast to finding love. So we'll just see what it does. It's pretty detailed. All right, so this one just generated. Uh, let's see what we got. It's creepy. <laughs> so this is the AI companion. That's interesting there. Why did she put this in her mouth? This thing uh, morphs. So this one isn't that good. <laughs> this one here, I'm, I'm going to give a three. Uh, just warping or morphing. And we can also send that feedback. Uh, and then this one, probably give like a one on that. I'll just do warping and morphing again. Um, but yeah, just three videos testing. Uh, this was the best one, testing Gen 3 on Runway. This was the best one. I feel like if I watch this for a while, I might be able to pick out a lot of things. Let me know if you see anything down below. Uh, obviously, did this guy over here actually might have had a missing leg, I think. But yeah, so this guy here, I don't know what's going on with that. That was a... I gave that one five, but I probably should have done lower. Can't change that score, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, that was just a quick test of Gen 3, another tool that all of us affiliate markers will be using to uh, do some fun uh, videos and ads and things like that. YouTubers will be using it, B-roll, uh, whatnot. So anyway, if you like this video, let me know. Um, click that like button. Appreciate you guys watching. If you're here still, um, click that subscribe button. If you want more videos like this, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. If you have suggestions for prompts to test, I'm always looking for feedback. Anyway, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.